I didn't do very well on the algebra exam Mrs. Greaser gave last week. Do you mean the common assessment we took online? Yeah, that one. I thought I did okay, but I was really shocked when I saw my low score. Really? I did pretty well on it. I used the study guide and went over all my notes before taking it. There were one or two that were a little hard, but for the most part I felt I knew what to do. Well, I kind of thought I knew, too. Have you talked to Mrs. Greaser lately? She used the daily online test tool created and analyzed the questions that most people got wrong. She can do that. What did she find out? Here's the weird thing. It turns out that 9 of the top 10 questions that people got wrong were not any of the new skills. It was all based on skills we learned in pre-algebra and reviewed this year. Wait. Yo, you mean that we got skills we know wrong? Yes. We tended to choose the incorrect answer closest to the best answer. The number one question a lot of people got wrong involved a question where we had to substitute values in an expression. No way. I know how to do that. At least I thought I did. Way. It seems questions that involved the use of negative numbers really messed us up. It also appeared that on equation questions, people didn't check their solutions. And many people don't know how to tell if a relation is a function if it is presented in table form. I forgot at first, but then I just graphed it and it was easy to see. Were there any new skills we did poorly on? Just one. It was the question where we had to identify the graph of a function where x equals a constant number. A lot of people still think that is a point instead of a line, so they either never got it and didn't ask about it, or didn't study. Wow. I guess I should have reviewed those skills better. I also was a little nervous about taking a test online. I mean, I've done that before, but I panicked a little, which probably didn't help. I just wrote down the questions on scrap paper, and then I didn't have to worry about looking at the screen. One nice thing about an online test is that you can really focus on one thing at a time. I also did not spend a lot of time on one question, and moved on if I felt stumped and came back to it later, like Mrs. Greaser suggested. I wish I had done some of the things you did. Do you think we'll get some sort of second chance? Well, dude, I wouldn't be surprised if Mrs. Greaser has some ideas.